In today's episode, I will show you how to make your own subscriber counter and how to control a disco light whenever there is an increase in the number of subscribers. As you can see, the light is turned on, which is an indication that I have received new subscribers. As you can see, the number of subscribers and views on the LCD. Let's confirm the number of subscribers and views by opening my YouTube channel. As you can see, the number of subscribers and views are exactly the same as displayed on the LCD. This episode covers number one, complete circuit diagram, number two, interfacing, number three, programming, and number four, testing. Let's get started. The components that we will need for this project are number one, Arduino, number two, 16 into two, LCD, Number 3. A variable resistor or potentiometer. Number 4. Jumper wires. Number 5. Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Number 6. 5 by 7 cm barrel board. Number 7. 470 microfarad capacitors. We will need two of these. Number 8. Female DC sockets. We will need three of these. Number 9, 7805 voltage regulator. First leg is the input, middle one is the ground and the third one is the output. Number 10, LED. The longer leg is the anode and the shorter one is the cathode. Number 11, 330 ohm resistor. Number 12, female headers. Number 13, 12 volt SPDT type relay. Number 14, 2N2222 NPN transistor. The left leg is the emitter. The middle one is the base and the right most leg is the collector. Number 15. 1 in 4007 diode. And finally, number 16, a 10K resistor. These components can be purchased from Amazon and AliExpress. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the complete circuit diagram explaining how 16 into 2 LCD and node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module will be connected with the Arduino. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. As you can see, ground is connected with pin number 1, 5 and pin number 16. 5 volts from Arduino is connected with pin number 2 and pin number 15. The middle pin of the variable resistor or potentiometer is connected with pin number 3 of the LCD. While the other two pins are connected with the ground and 5 volt. Pins 4 to 7 of the Arduino are connected with pins D7 to D4 of the LCD. Pin number 8 of the Arduino is connected with the enable pin of the LCD, while pin number 9 of the Arduino is connected with the RS pin of the LCD. This is the regulated 5 volt power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. This power supply will be used to power up the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module. This is the DC female power jig. A 470 microfarad capacitor is connected at the input side of the 7805 voltage regulator. Another 470 microfarad capacitor is connected at the output side of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. I have a very detailed tutorial on LED and how to calculate the value of the current limiting resistor. The link is given in the description. A wire from the output of the voltage regulator is connected with the VN pin of the node MCU. And also make sure you connect the ground of a voltage regulator with the ground of node MCU module. While the TX and RX pins of the node MCU are connected with pin number 2 and pin number 3. A relay is connected with pin number 13 of the Arduino. This relay will be used to control the bulb. The relay driver circuit simply consists of the 2N2222 NPN transistor and a 10K resistor. If you want to learn the relay driver circuit design calculations, then watch my tutorial. 
the link is given in the description. This is the final Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module based circuit. All the connections are done as per the circuit diagram as explained. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to make a power supply for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module using a voltage regulator. This tutorial covers the soldering and testing. This is the 16 into 2 LCD of the soldering. The LCD interfacing with the Arduino is as per the circuit diagram. The LCD soldering and basic programming is explained in this tutorial. I highly recommend you should watch these tutorials for the best understanding. As the Arduino Node MCU module and the relay circuit needs 12 volt, I simply solder 3 male power jakes with a DC female socket. Now I can use only one 12 volt adapter to power up Arduino Node MCU and relay module. The LCD is already connected. Now let's connect the Node MCU module. Connect the ground of the Node MCU module with the Arduino's ground. Connect the TX and RX pins of the Node MCU module with pin number 2 and pin number 3 of the Arduino. Now connect the relay module with the Arduino. Connect the ground wire of the relay module with the ground pin of the Arduino. Connect the red wire with the pin number 13. If you are done with the interfacing, now let's discuss the programming. As this project is based on Arduino and Node MCU, that's why we have two programs. One program is written for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and another program is written for the Arduino. Let's first of all start with the Arduino's programming. Hash includes software serial dot H. The software serial library is used for creating multiple serial ports. Hash include liquid crystal dot H. This library is used for the 16 into 2 LCD. Software serial node MCU 2,3. Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module TX and RX pins are connected. 2 is the RX while 3 is the TX. Then we define some pins for the LCD. Initialize the library with the numbers of the interface pins. Long integer first value, second value. These two variables will be used for the subscribers and views. Corrector or data. Our data is a variable of the type corrector and will be used for receiving data from the node MCU. String my string. My string is a variable of the type string and this is used to make a complete message from the characters stored in variable or data. Is node MCU and Arduino communicates through serial communication so each character that is received is added with the my string to make a complete message. I will explain this in a minute. Then I defined some variables of the type long integer. These variables will be used to store the current subscribers, previous subscribers, current views and previous views. Integer relay is equal to 13. A relay is connected with pin number 13. This relay will be used to control the light. Integer TF is equal to 0. This will be used as the flag to control the on time of a relay. Then define some variables that tracks the time since last event fired. Integer interval is equal to 1. Update every 1 second. Integer seconds is equal to 0. As you know my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions which are the white setup and while loop functions. White means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. Delay 15,000 15 seconds delay which gives enough time to the node MCU module in order to connect with the Wi-Fi. Serial.begin 9600 activates the serial communication. 9600 is the baud rate. 
Node MCU dot begin 9600 activates the Node MCU module. Pin mode relay output. Digital write relay low. Keep the relay off by default. Set up the LCD's number of columns and rows. And then we simply print a message on the LCD which is electronic clinic. Then starts a while loop function. LCD dot set cursor 14 comma 0. 14 is the column number while 0 is the first row. And then using the LCD dot print function I printed the underscore. This is replaced with the double dots when data is received from the Node MCU module, which is an indication that the Arduino is receiving data from the Node MCU module. Time of function. This is a user defined function which I created for counting the seconds. If node MCU dot available greater than zero, if data is received from the node MCU module, our data is equal to node MCU dot read. Read the node MCU module and store the characters in our data and then aid the R data with my string to make a complete message. The purpose of this condition is to make sure that the Arduino has received the complete message. Then the get value function is used to split the string which is the complete message sent by the node MCU module, comma is used as a delimiter. Then we simply convert these strings to integers and store the values and variables first value and second value and then simply empty the string for new data. Current subs is equal to first value and current views is equal to second value. If current subs greater than previous subs, if there is an increase in the number of subscribers then simply make the previous subs is equal to the current subscribers and then display the number of subscribers and views and change the TF to 1 and similarly for the views. If TF is equal to is equal to 1, digital write relay high and then there is a delay of 100 milliseconds. Git value is a user defined function and is used to split a string. This function takes three arguments is the input, the data separator or a delimiter and the index. Y timer. If TF is equal to is equal to 1. When the TF is 1, the mills function is used to count the number of seconds. In my case, I use 2 minutes. The light will remain on for 2 minutes. When 2 minutes are completed, then the TF value is changed to 0. Seconds is equal to 0 and the relay is turned off. This program can be downloaded from my blog page. The link is given in the description. Now let's have a look at the Node MCU programming. First of all, download all the libraries needed for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Simply enter your Wi-Fi name and password for the YouTube channel ID. Open your channel. Click on the YouTube settings. Now click on the advanced settings. Simply copy your YouTube channel ID and paste it over here. This code simply access the number of subscribers and views and then make a message and use the comma as the delimiter and send it to the Arduino. The circuit diagram and programs can be downloaded from my blog page. The link is given in the description.
I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.